Here's what you missed on Fathead and Candy in the morning. Weekdays, 6 to 10 a.m. on My Country 96.1. My Country 96.1, Fathead Candy Roth. Uh, Candy, big news for my son, Elijah. Oh. He is uh, back in the entertaining world. What are you talking about? West Hampton Beach Performing Arts Center. Oh. They are uh, back signing kids up for theater productions this fall, Candy. Oh, Dad, how are they working that out? So, well, less kids in a production, socially distanced for rehearsals and everything. I don't know what the performance is going to look like. Well, here's our new threat, Elijah. If you don't sit down and go to school (laughs) on that computer, you will not be acting. Yes, and he is going to be in Shrek Jr., the musical. Candy. I can't take it. That is too cute for school. <laughs> yeah. I'm t- that's a new threat. You have a new threat. That's right. Uh, so, uh, big shout out to West Hampton Beach Performing Arts Center, who, uh, you know, I'm on their Remind app. When you have a kid in the class at any point, you, you know, you could sign up for their Remind app. And uh, I got a, a Remind yesterday, said, oh, don't forget, sign your kids up. So I went right online and uh, got him signed up for Shrek Jr. the musical, and they have. Uh, it's interesting because I was looking. They have age eighteen plus uh, uh, classes for songwriting, singing, uh, television acting. Oh, there's and then, a class for you. I know, and then they have infant, like like young toddler programs for music and rock band programs for teenagers, and it's really it's very cool, Candy. So, very, I love it. I'm happy I'll, for him. I'm excited. Uh, he starts that in about a couple of weeks. And, and he's very excited, I'm sure. Oh, you should have seen his face. He was so excited. Um, and they have all the classes at whbpac.org. That's West Hampton Beach Performing Arts Center. So uh, good for them for bringing back the uh, bringing back the arts, Candy. And, Absolutely. Uh, they, they do great, great work. Um, some of the national days today, Candy, there's, there's a lot of them. Uh, some ridiculous ones as well, so we'll roll roll through them as quick as we can. It's National Cheese Toast Day, Candy. Oh, cheese toast. I have yeah. that sometimes. I don't know if that's well, grilled cheese. Well, at least cheese. that's toast with cheese. I don't mm. know. Uh, National Linguini Day today. Oh, who doesn't like a linguini? National Felt Hat Day. Oh, there's a hat for you today. See? Mm. National Double Cheeseburger Day. Oh, yeah. Not, not just one. Uh, National Creme de Menthe Day, Candy. Did Isn't I pronounce that, that right? Creme de Menthe. I, I guess it's some sort of minty liqueur. Yeah, I something don't, like that. I don't that. like that. Okay. Uh, here's a good one. National Tackle Kids Cancer Day. That's a oh, good Oh, I one. like that. Every day should be that day. Today's National Neonatal Nurses Day. That's a good you one, too. You got that right. They really do a great job. They're angels, those people. Angels. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, National Online Learning Day. I laugh because I I'm going to go. I you. I'm going to the hospital because of this online learning, Candy. Unbelievable. They're going to take me away. Uh, It's Greenpeace Day, and it's National IT Professionals Day. Uh, Thank you. And we can't live without them this time. No, 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 we cannot. IT guides are at the top of the pole. You hear me? Our IT guy in our office, his name is Phil. Uh, He's this young dude. He's got tattoos up and down his arm. He comes to Vegas with us every year to record the ACM interviews. He's our main tech over there, and yeah, he keeps uh, he keeps the computer systems running, Candy. Yeah, so. we love them. Thank you, IT guys. Sure did, day. Did you hear about the Thanksgiving Day Parade this year? I did not. What's happening? Okay, so there will be no spectators. There will be no balloon handlers. There will be no anyone in the parade 18 and under, so no high school marching bands, none of that, and which makes sense because they're not flying in marching bands from around the country. Uh, well, what will there be? So here's what's going to happen. It's going to be a two-day television event what? where the balloons are still going to be uh, up, uh, but they're going to be on vehicles. They're going to be paraded through Herald Square on vehicles, um, and it'll be a made-for-TV event with no spectators. And, you know, what's interesting is one of the New York TV stations, I was watching the story, and they went around interviewing people, and most of the people had the same reaction. And their reaction was... Well, I would never go stand in that crowd during a normal year. So I always watch it on TV. So 
But you it's know. like a thing. You get up Thanksgiving morning, you watch the Thanksgiving Day Parade. That's it. You, it's, the, it's, it's the law. I know. It's one of my great memories with my parents and my sisters. And I, that, it's, I, I, I live for that on Thanksgiving Day. Uh, but, you know, you got to do what you got to do, Candy. So. All right. That's the. Next uh, to go. The holidays, Christmas out, Hanukkah <laughs> goodbye. It's all, it's all gone. No Halloween. Uh, we're 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 canceling the world, Candy. Um, Unbelievable. And, and you know, I usually like to leave you with some good news, but I can't in this case. I have uh, something that maybe Indonesia has this right. Okay, eight people in Indonesia were busted for not wearing masks. Just and- eight. Well, there was a party or something. So eight of them were busted for not wearing masks. Do you know what they were ordered to do? They were I'm ordered to ask. You should be. They were ordered to dig graves for people who've died from COVID-19, oh. Kitty. Now. That'll make you put on a mask. This is what I'm talking about. Uh, call it barbaric. Call it shocking. But you know what? Maybe if you get in there on the uh, the ground floor and you see actually what's going on, it may make you think twice. Yes? No? I agree wholeheartedly. Start digging, boy. There you Put go. Put that in- mask on or get a shovel. Well, now that we gave everyone uh, some brightness today, uh, we have 68 degrees for your high. I shall be wearing a hoodie. I will be bringing you some great music here till noon. Then Jay Letterman. Candy, you enjoy your day. Do you have anything special planned today? Special? No. But... I have news on the fact that I'm moving. We'll talk about that tomorrow. Oh, this is beautiful. That's a setup right there. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That, is, that, is, that is fantastic. I can't wait. All right. Candy's mo- I had no idea. This is great. Yeah. All right. Are you, I like to uh, keep things and then let you have them. All right. Well, you know, I'm not going to ask any questions now. No, we will for tomorrow. Uh, we'll get into that. My Country 96.1. Fathead and Candy in the morning. Weekdays, 6 to 10 a.m. on My Country 96.1.